According to the news today, this is the most offensive image I could possibly show you. And that's mostly because journalism is dead. And I'm gonna use this unbelievable story to show you exactly why that is. You're never gonna believe where all of this started. But first, just to prove to you how widespread this insane, stupid story went, here's a small example. Here's WFAA. Kinsey <laughs> says the thumbs up emoji is out. It's out. Get it off the phone. Not only does it show your age if you use it, they say it also makes you seem rude and passive aggressive. Rude, passive aggressive. There were reports everywhere. This was global. How many times have you used the thumbs up emoji in your conversations? A zillion times, I'm sure. Maybe a zillion. Well, a Gen Z is attempting to cancel the thumbs up emoji along. They said along with other emojis. Well, we got to get to the source of this because it's got people up in arms like Fox 26. What the hell is going on? These Gen Zers say they are hurt. They are hurt. And, and they feel like the thumbs up emoji is hostile. Yeah, it's hostile, all right. There is no shortage of reporters just like this today all over the country telling you just how toxic the thumbs up was. To show you I'm not exaggerating, if I go to the Google Newswire, you see this story over and over and over. It's nonsense, it's a hoax, but it got the New York Post. It got uh, the Economic Times, not just once, but twice. They did two stories on this uh, emoji thumbs up that you should avoid at work. Over here we have Marca.com. This is Wales Online. It's going over to the UK now. You've got Fox News jumping in saying Gen Z says this emoji is passive aggressive. Are you still using it? Over to stuff.co.nz. They're on board. This was literally on every major news site today. This is Channel News Asia. It's going global. PR week. It's now into the world of advertising and PR. Gen Z gives thumbs down to thumbs up emoji. How do you perceive it? That really right there is what this is all about. Let's just get people talking. Here is CBS News in Austin, one of thousands of local news outlets that ran this hoax story today, saying Gen Z labels thumbs up emoji hostile and passive aggressive. So where did it all come from? From whence did it originate? Right here. This is what started the Gen Z movement. Everybody's canceled the thumbs up. This is where it all came from. It came from this one post from 10 months ago, 10 months ago. And it's got the entirety of the Newswire talking about this, literally thousands of stories, a 10 month old post on Reddit, r slash uh, adulting, by the way, am I not adult enough to be comfortable with a thumbs up emoji reaction? And this person it describes their situation. They say a coworker said it was an unsettling response. They said, does anybody else feel this way? And in the thread for this, almost everybody, save for one user, said, no, I don't feel like the thumbs up is an aggressive or uh, some sort of emoji that needs to be canceled. What is happening here is there is a formula. There are these fake stories, literally fake stories that are generated from 10 month old Reddit posts and then churned out across the media landscape over and over and over. They're played on talk radio. They're played on streams. They're all over the place. And it's all complete lies. They're making it up almost out of thin air or a 10-month-old Reddit post. That is what the news media has boiled down to. This is journalism in 2022. I don't know how you feel about that, but it makes me a little frightened for the history uh, and the future of journalism. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Give me your reactions and comments below. Facebook.com slash The News Junkie. Hit that follow button. YouTube.com slash The News Junkie. Hit subscribe. Thank you for watching as always.